Hello everyone. So Parrot 102 has just been pushed and I wanted to share with you some of the changes that have been made since the last version. Uh, there have been some fairly big changes, uh, lots of bug fixes and also a few new features. All right, let's go. Probably the biggest new feature is silence cutoff. Now, uh, what this does is fix a problem with Whisper, which returns incorrect uh, word boundaries for some words. Basically, if you have a big pause in your uh, dialogue here, Whisper is going to return the start of the word inside one of these big silences rather than at the very start of the word. So what uh, Silence Cutoff does is it tells Parrot that to take a look at your audio track and wherever your audio track falls below this value, it's going to treat that as silent. And uh, then when it's positioning the starts of the words, if the start of the word starts in the middle of a silent section, it's going to move that forward until it hits the first section that isn't silent. So uh, this should be a good default, and I don't think you'll need to change it. But uh, basically, that's what it's doing. And uh, here's a quick demo of how the speech is rendered uh, when you use silence to uh, correct for word boundaries. I'll tell you how the sun rose, a ribbon at a time. The steeples swam in amethyst, the news like squirrels ran. The hills untied their bonnets, the bobolinks begun. Then I said softly to myself, that must have been the sun. The word pad frames affects how rests are placed before and after the ends of words. Uh, this is a change from the last version where I was using a different system for figuring out where to put the rests. Now you can simply type in the number of frames that you want to have either before or after a word uh, to put the rest marker uh, when you have a uh, silence gap in between words. Now if words are so close together that there's not enough room for a rest, the rest is just going to be omitted, like between the word the here and flower here. You can see that there's no rest because there's not enough room for it. And uh, I don't have a good example here, but um, if, there's not, if there's enough room for one rest but not enough room for two rests, then it's just going to split the difference. But you can uh, determine what the size of that gap is, as I was saying, by typing in the word pad frames and saying just how many frames worth of padding you want to have before that rest comes. The strength multiplier allows you to attenuate the intensity of your mouth poses. Uh, by default, your mouth poses might be a little bit strong and you might want to dial them back if your character is speaking more softly. And uh, then you can bake with a different value here in order to uh, just sort of turn down everything. So let me show you what this is like when this is set to one, which is uh, basically just your mouth poses unaffected by anything. But how he sat, I know not. There seemed a purple style, which literally... And if you'd like that to be a little bit less intense, you can set this to maybe 0.6 and run the bake again. And when it's done, you can play it again and see the results. But how he sat, I know not. There seemed a purple style, which little yellow boys and girls were climbing all the while. The last addition is the track volume multiplier, which just takes the mouth pose and multiplies its strength by the volume of the frame that it happens to be in. Uh, this can give you a louder or more emphasized speech where uh, the speakers speak more loudly and de-emphasized speech where they're speaking more quietly. Though in practice this doesn't quite work since it seems to more cut off the beginnings and ends of words rather than anything else. I might remove this in the future, but for now it's there. Just uh, if you decide to use it, you're probably going to have to boost the strength multiplier uh, in order to compensate for the overall quietness of the audio track. And uh, once you've run it, and once you've uh, finished the bake and you play it back, you can sort of see what your speech looks like when you attenuate it based on the volume of the track itself. But how he sat, I know not. There seemed a purple style, which little yellow boys and girls were climbing all the while. And those are the changes.
If you check out the website, you can find uh, some other changes I've made, mostly documentation improvements, uh, including how to get this to work with Russian. Uh, apparently, for languages like Russian, there is some extra setup that needs to be done. Uh, languages like English, French, and Spanish seem to work uh, right away without any extra setup. Uh, I don't know about any other languages. If you have issues, you can uh, contact me. Uh, East Asian languages like Chinese, Japanese, and Korean uh, don't work. This is uh, a limitation in the uh, uh, translation libraries I've been able to find. They don't work with East Asian languages. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to incorporate that. But yeah, uh, download the latest. Uh, if you like this, please consider supporting me by either buying this through Blender Market or maybe making a donation to uh, the Ko-fi page or supporting me on Patreon. And uh, yeah, and until next time, uh, thanks for watching. I'll Tell You How the Sun Rose by Emily Dickinson Read for LibriVox.org by Winston Tharp I'll tell you how the sun rose, a ribbon at a time. The steeples swam in amethyst, the news like squirrels ran. The hills untied their bonnets, the bobolinks begun. Then I said softly to myself, that must have been the sun. But how he sat I know not. There seemed a purple style, which little yellow boys and girls were climbing all the while, till when they reached the other side, a dominie in gray put gently up the evening bars and led the flock away. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Mm -hmm.